you haven't noticed already, my aim is uh, on point. I'm sitting at about 99% accuracy right now. Hoping not to mess that up any more than I already than I already am. I've already got a couple of leads for you. The coordinates have been uploaded into your phone. Give me a call when you're in position. Experience points. So it's part two of Infamous. Just infamous. I was gonna say Second Son because uh, <laughs> that's pretty relevant right now. I didn't even finish Second Son that long ago. It was only a few weeks ago. But yes, the original Infamous, man. Super excited. Can you just tell? It's just perspirating out of me like some sort of amorphous blob. Now the thing about Infamous <laughs> and it being so close to the fact that we just all played Second Son, most of us, is, uh, traversing the land. If you've played Second Son, it's kind of hard to go back to Infamous, because, uh, the travel, the fast travel methods of, uh, well, I guess, not, like, not the billboard fast travel, but just traveling around the city in general in Second Son is super fast when you get, uh, the second power and the third power. Super, super speedy, and it's so fast to get up buildings, and uh, there's no answer for that in the first Infamous. At least g getting up one building, um, jumping from building to building gets easier, but there's no, no, no easy way to get up one of them. All right, now what? I'm picking up some weird interference from a rooftop not far from you. Need to find out its origin and purpose. So what am I looking for? Not really sure. Probably a transmitter of some type. Call me when you get over there. So this is, uh, is this the dead drops we're finding right now, or? It's been a while since I played this game. I do remember some of the bigger key moments of the game, though, that really strike a chord with me. We'll touch on those when they come up. There's still loads of blast shards everywhere, that's for sure. Actually, they're not even coming up on the map right now, are they? Satellites. Found it. Looks like a portable audio drive is attached to this satellite dish. See if you can listen to it with your phone. Sounds like a bunch of garbage. It's an encrypted message, but I can't break it. Look around and see if you can find another one. Now I remember the first time I played this. It took me forever to re to figure out how to find dead drops, because it's like, oh, click L3, and I didn't finish reading that whole thing the first time, and uh, it's really the uh, that gray thing in the bottom right corner. Do you mind, dude? I'm trying to explain something. And I did not pick up on that or notice it the first time I played, and it was really frustrating me, because I'm like, how the fuck do you find dead drops? Dude, seriously? Guns hurt. Come on, don't do that. Ah, it's going to be so... Oh, man. Second Son had such a great way to get up buildings faster. Man, this is so manual. Just climbing the building. Ugh. can I just neon up it? Yeah, I'm gonna, gonna be doing this a lot too. Just fidgeting over and over again. God damn it. And I don't even have the f glide power yet. I gotta hurry up and get that stuff. This will be much a much smoother experience. So how have you all been? I miss you dearly. Want to make sure you're doing all right. Chase, how have you been? Did you go to school yet? Quit being such a pansy. Go to school. Everyone else, hope you're enjoying the games. Playing games. Like I said, I'm trying to play like three games simultaneously right now. Actually, four because of Watch Dogs. You hear that? Same thing as before. I'm running the signals through a decryption program on this end. I've almost cracked it, but I need another sample. Look around for more of those files. Yeah. 
guess so. I need to get some of my good powers, man. Lightning bolt, yeah, just upgrading that. Shockwave, yeah, dude, we don't got nothing. Wish I could just jump right to all the good stuff so I can take these dudes out nice and easy. For some reason, I really don't remember Infamous 2 that well. But they had, like, a lot of, like, monsters in it, like, creatures. Just knock these dudes off the building. That's always a good way to get rid of them, nice and quick. They just fall from, they'll usually fall from the heights unless there's another building below it. You gotta be mindful of uh, your top right bar when you start using all that extra shit. Which is why I might collect some blast shards in between recordings just to keep my top left bar a little bigger. I guess that's a good thing about playing uh, the original Infamous is uh, power sources are much more abundant compared to Second Sun. You know, trying to find smoke sources and neon sources is not as, uh, not as easy. Where, where is it? Oh, it's here. That's the last one. Give me a second. All right. That should do it. I'm uploading a decrypting algorithm into your phone. It should let you listen to the messages. I couldn't stop Kessler from detonating the ray sphere. Damn thing took out five or six square blocks, killed God knows how many. Found the ray sphere in the blast crater next to some kid. Don't know if he was dead or not, didn't have time to check. I'm gonna try and hole up somewhere. If anyone is even listening to these things, I need immediate extraction. Please, you've got to get me out of here before Kessler finds me. Do you understand any of that? I don't believe it. That's John. He must have used dead drops to communicate with his handlers. Um, English? It means there are probably more of those scattered around the city. You should try and find as many as you can. They might tell us where you took the ray sphere. Find John in the ray sphere, and I'm out, right? I know the deal, Cole. Just making sure. Mysterious signals. So there's 32 dead drops. Like I said, I don't think we're going to do all the... Well, we're definitely not going to do all the additional content, because there's really no... You know, it's all, that's all filler. Just came back from Pier 19. It looks like the feds are tightening the screws. I can at least five ships drop the mines in the harbor, and two more block in the harbor entrance with scrap metal. We're not going anywhere, folks. Might as well do whatever you can to get comfortable. Voice of survival, out. I like that guy. Despite... Him being an asshole early on, but uh, some later dead drops reveal what happened, what happens to him as well. I mean, that's all that, that all that stuff. That's for you to to go play on your own time, you know. Yeah, it's fair to say, right? Especially when, if you're doing like you know an open world game, you don't want to reveal all that stuff. Come on, don't watch everything on the internet. You gotta play some of this stuff for yourself. I'll give you the meat and potatoes, but if you want some of those side dishes, some of those appetizers. You best be playing the whole game yourself, buddy, and you better figure it out and uh, check them out yourself. I always love games that have really good side content that like really adds a lot of context to the story. Fills in a lot of the blanks. I'm always into that. Although there's a few side missions in this game that are really fucking boring. I think a lot of them boils down to when you're trying to uh, get back territory in the game. Because, uh, how do I bring up the map? Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't show me an option right now, but you can start um, to recontrol some of the city and kick out the Reapers and the other gangs that are in the game. So that they're not always bothering you when you're just trying to traverse the city. And, uh... Some of the missions for that are pretty tedious. The one I always hated was uh, the camera missions, which are you just go to this building and it's like 
the the building is just filled with cameras everywhere. Like there's cameras all over the building, monitoring people. And it's like a, you know, disabling, you know, giving people back their privacy sort of thing. So all you gotta do is just scale the building and just destroy all the cameras. It's a pain in the ass trying to find them. So that was a little annoying. Kind of tedious. Like, and it's not just like one, like, it doesn't come up two, three, four times. It comes up like, there's like 12 or, 12 or 15 of them. And there's some other ones. The other ones are good, like, uh, trying to find some hidden, hidden blast shards or... You'll get a picture of some dude in a certain area, and then you gotta go find him and kill him. Cole, I just got a call from an EMT in your area. The Reapers have overrun his makeshift medical clinic, and he needs your help. I can't solve all the world's problems, Moya. Maybe not, but if you help him, he might return the favor. Find the marked emergency worker. You know what? I was just gonna do that. I was gonna say something to you, but I forgot. Hey, there's a dead drop nearby. That's another thing too. When you're playing, when you're playing uh, any of the infamous games, and you know like things are are near you, like the blast shards, you can't help but want to go grab them. It's like they're right there, right? Like you're on your way there. Even uh, my friend Brandon, who you all know. Or you at least should know at this point, because he's been in some Let's Plays. Uh, he's not the kind of person that will complete a game 100%, or he doesn't care about trophies. But he'll tell me, like, oh, when he was playing the infamous games, like, you know, if you're on your way there, you might as well get them, right? Like, you're just... And I, I really like that when it comes to certain collectibles. Um, some games make it really tedious and out of the way to go grab them. And, uh... It sometimes takes the fun out of the game, right? But if you've got... If you can make your collectibles fun to get to the point where it's like you might as well go grab them and they really do benefit you in a greater way uh, like I'm real, I'm really into that I really like when a game does that well the reapers keep attacking the clinic I have down the street be careful for me would you did he just throw up on that guy that's gross <laughs> it reminds me of a uh, scene from Wild Boys with uh, Steve-O, Chris Pontius, two of the dudes from the Jackass crew, and they're like, I don't know where they are, they're in some, you know, random-ass country, and they're eating, like, you know, food that that country might consider a delicacy, but we wouldn't. Oh, look at that. Okay, so this, yeah, there you go. So this is one of the sections where it's showing you how you can take back some of the territory. That's just introducing it to you, though. You don't have to do all those. There are other people around there who need help, too. Keep an eye out for them. Thank you. Anyway, um... So they're in some random ass country and they're eating food that, you know, we wouldn't consider a delicacy, but they do. And they're like frogs and, uh like beetles or some shit or whatever and uh <laughs> Chris is like or Steve was like hey Chris and he's like yeah you tried the frog yet <laughs> no and they eat the frog and <laughs> Chris just fucking th he purposely throws up on Steve like what a dick move <laughs> Steve just looks at him he's like what the what's the matter with you dude oh my god I love I fucking love those guys so much I'm all about, I do, I love Jackass. My, my mom, my mom does not get that humor at all. I always tell her to watch that. Like, I always tell her, like, dude, just watch Jackass. Like, it's funny as shit. Every time she, uh, tries to give it a go, she's like, this is, this is just stupid. I'm like, how can you not, how can you not find this humorous? How can, how can anybody not find that humorous? Not to make that sort of call out, because then, you know, the, you know, the person that doesn't like that stuff's gonna go, oh yeah, I don't like that stuff. I think that's hilarious. I'm, I'm totally into that humor. And another kind of humor that really, that I, I'm so into is shit that doesn't make sense. Um, I just like humor that just does not add up, that just does not make any sense. I mean, like, the Katamari games, for example. I love Katamari because they're just so hilarious, right? Like, they, no, just nothing makes sense about that game. Nothing at all. 
especially the king. If you read the king's dialogue, uh, right before a mission, he'll just, like, right before, like, a, a level, he'll just tell you the most random thing in the world, and it's just, like, so subtle, but so funny at the same time. Okay, Moya, what now? One of my contacts, an electrician named Brandon Carey, didn't check in last night. He's pretty important, so you need to find him. He was last seen in the alley across the street from your location. Well, let's go look for him. I think I know how this turns out. Don't want to spoil it. Your boy isn't here, Moya. Just a dead woman. A woman? Well, that doesn't make any sense. Hang on a second. Reapers! No! Leave my husband alone! Where are you taking him? Brandon! Whoa. What just happened? I had a vision. The Reapers kidnapped Brandon. This is his wife, Lene. I can see the echo of someone running away. Follow Lene. it. We need to find out what happened. It's a very interesting girl name. I've never heard that before. Lene. Lene. Your history. Dude, I really... I, I really hate when I was about to say something and I lose my train of thought. This happens to me way too often. It's always the cutscenes that get me, too. Damn. Because I'm about to say something, cutscene comes up, and then I forget. It gets to the point where it's like, I love these games, right? But then when I let's play them and a cutscene comes up and it's cutting me off right in my train of thought. It's like, oh, stop. Stop having cutscenes. Stop having stories. Stop having a game that I enjoy. But I'm just trying to say stupid shit to you guys. Really dumb shit. If you haven't noticed already, my aim is uh, on point. I'm sitting at about 99% accuracy right now. Hoping not to mess that up any more than I already, than I already am. Where's the... Uh... Where's Brandon? There he is. Pick up your damn phone! What's up? The feds, man. That's what's up. Watching our every move. Even caught one scoping out the roof. He's leaning against the wall down there, eating a fresh apple. Now you tell me, where the hell did he get that? I don't know, Zeke. But if we want to be out of here, this is the way it's got to be. Come on, man. Don't be stupid. They'll ride you as long as they can. Second, you're no longer useful. Bam! You vanish. Perfect. I think all that conspiracy stuff has rotted your brain. Hey, hey, don't kill the messenger, brother. I'm just telling them like it is. You want your back. This is my home turf, people. Don't want to fuck with a light bulb in the light socket. I was also going to mention something again. But then Zeke called and ruined what I was going to say. However, I do remember what I was going to say, so that's good. Uh, I like uh, some of the subtle touches uh, that Sucker Punch does in this game. Like when you step in a puddle of water and the electricity kind of surges just a little bit. Like it doesn't hurt you, but you know you can tell that it, it has like a little bit of a tingling sensation and the electricity kind of flows through the, the puddle a little bit. I just really, really love subtle details like that. Like, Grand Theft Auto V, for example, had so many little minute details, but I, I love, I love when you notice that stuff. How do I get over here? I fucking hate those enemies, too. There's gonna be a bunch of those dudes later on. What the hell happened? The entire Neon just went dark. That's because one of those maniacs blew up a whole substation. Man, brain feels like it's in a vice. Your body must be reacting to the absence of electricity. You're gonna have to man up and find Carrie. If we don't restore the power, the Reapers will be unstoppable. And here's the part of the game where you're always gonna get some upgrades. All right. 
I tracked the echo to the sewers. There's always great lighting in these areas. Okay. You've got to stop the Reapers. They're running around with some electrician, killing anyone they find out. I'm gonna make you a monster! The Transformer's back on. Now what? Restart the distribution substation by charging up the voltage regulator mounted to its front. That should be enough to get the power back on. See, I want to be a good guy, so I'm going to heal all these people. And I'm going to restrain all the Reapers. Which, by the way, their hoodies are pretty badass, I'm not going to lie. Oh, I don't want to bio leech you. That's evil. Yeah, I'm not going to bio leech you. That's when you, like, just fucking straight up murder them. But in return, you do get, uh, like, health for it. Which is a point of contingency. It's like if you play uh, if you play evil, you're gonna have the easiest uh, yeah. playthrough. Another thing I love, if enemies fall in the water, you can shock anywhere in the water, and they're pretty much done -zo. So what you also got right there was a little bit uh, of serious plot point, which is uh, Cole's strained relationship with... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Cole's strained relationship with his, uh, with his girlfriend. Nah, I got into urban exploration about four years ago. Crawled all over this city. I know these sewers like the back of my hand. Kind of makes you wonder how the fuck this guy got down here. Right on this huge platform. And this guy. <laughs> Maybe they worked down. Maybe they worked down here. That would make sense. What are you doing here? Did they see you? I need to turn on the substation. Are you out of your damn mind? The Reapers will kill my wife. No one is getting in here. Open the door. Screw you! I've jammed this thing up tight. No one is getting in or out until she's safe. Poor guy. Still thinks he's protecting Lene. Doesn't change the fact that I need to get in there. I can either fry him and open the door that way, or tell him that his wife is dead. See if that gets him to back off. Lene is dead. They shot her. How do you know her name? I know this is hard. I saw her body. There was nothing anyone could do. And I knew I shouldn't have trusted her. Dude, I'm so sorry, Lene. Listen to me. I've seen what you can do. You have to kill them. All of them. Promise me. I'll do what I can. Retribution is a sweet thing, my friend. I will do what I can do. Trust me, it's not good life advice, but uh, revenge is fucking sweet. That's it. We're going to turn on the city again.
Here we go. Slightly more heroic. As opposed to other missions where it says, uh, nice you are greatly in heroic. I'll need those pronto for sure, so I can get all the cool shit. Did I get any more powers in lock? Yes, I did. Fires a bolt that chains off conductive surfaces. That's the only an evil thing. Thunder drop. Reduce damage. Let's stockpile all of our uh, EXP and then become super powerful in like one little shopping spree. How about that? I can't be the only one that does that. I know for sure a lot, a lot of people like doing that, stockpiling all their shit and just uh, getting super, super strong in one go. You know what I found out the other day, which I didn't like realize because uh, back when I at least had played Final Fantasy X, um, you know, like I didn't really use the internet that, that often and uh, I didn't use like online guides or forums as much. But uh, a lot of people like to do uh, no sphere grid playthroughs where you play through the entire game without uh, adding any HP or uh, attack or magic defense, nothing, right? You st what you start at is what you finish the game with. So by the end of the game, you're still dealing like, you know, 10, 10 or so damage per character and everything. I'm like, oh my god, holy shit, that's insane that people do that. For real, dude, I am so serious when I say some people are so fucking talented at what they what they do when it comes to games. And I just uh, play them, try to get trophies, and uh, talk about them on, on the uh, on the internet. All right, let's uh, actually, you know what? Let's not start this mission because we're out of time. Guess what, guys? I'll see you in the next let's play or the next part. See ya.